Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to give you an update of the data miner deployment of our main demo system, Zine. If you remember last year, our demo system was running inside our headquarters and that was only, only, only on one server. Uh, that server had three disks, uh, one for running the data miner software and then another one for the Cassandra database and later on we added a third disk for the Elasticsearch database. Today, we moved our complete Zine setup to the cloud. This is done on three uh, virtual machines running in Azure, um, like you can see over here on this uh, overview. So these are the three virtual machines and uh, our data miner software is running on a virtual machine with a Windows operating system, while the databases are running on Linux. The reason we choose for uh, Linux is because the Linux servers are more performant uh, compared with the Windows ones, especially for the databases. Now, we have our Azure uh, nodes, our virtual machines, like you can see over here with some incoming and outgoing traffic over there. And then on each node, we have an element responsible for uh, monitoring the server. So. On this node, the data miner one, we have a Microsoft platform, while on the other ones, we have a Linux platform, uh, which are three times receiving the total processor load and the memory usage. And then on the Cassandra and Elasticsearch nodes, we have our applications itself. So we have a dedicated Cassandra application for monitoring, especially the Cassandra database. And we have the same one for the Elasticsearch. So if you have a look inside this view, we have a few elements in there. Uh, let me go to one. I can click on one in here, but I also added links uh, on the shapes for easily navigation. So in here, this is just a part of a whole Microsoft Azure connector that we have for, um, uh, for polling everything that we have running in the cloud. So in here, we only see the three uh, virtual machines responsible for my whole uh, Zine uh, deployment in the cloud. Um, some metrics are polled like incoming traffic and outgoing traffic. In this case, um, I mean, some things are trended. Like if you click on it, you see a trend chart with the traffic by default of the last 24 hours. You may have noticed that I haven't enabled trending on the CPU usage, usage memory and the disk parameters. The reason for that is uh, this data is only updated every minute while the dedicated uh, platform monitoring connectors, um, they retrieve the data each 10 seconds. And I can show you that like if we go to our Microsoft server over here, you see here I also have the same uh, uh, total processor load and I can click on the trend icon to show a nice trend graph. Also, some KPIs are added on the uh, visual page uh, where you immediately see a nice overview of our system. Uh, same for the Linux, like if I take, for instance, Elasticsearch, you, will, you see I took more or less the same. Uh, over here, more disks are monitored, one with the root partition, one with the data partition, so that they can easily see how uh, many data still can be stored on my Linux uh, virtual machine. And last but not least, we have uh, our applications that you can monitor. In this case, my Cassandra application, also with some metrics in here. This is a table with an overview of the different partitions, but we also have tombstones and other uh, nice metrics in here. And the same we have for Elasticsearch. With also lots of additional data and key metrics. Um, do note, this is still a demo setup. So we're running our databases in the cloud only on one node. One node for Cassandra, one node for um, Elasticsearch. It thought it is recommended uh, to have um, more nodes for redundancy purposes, for instance. 
Uh, more info about this uh, can be found uh, on our uh, Dojo website. There you can easily find the topic about data miner deployments in the field. Thank you for watching.